10,000 hours. That's how long it takes to become a master at something. You know, the past couple months, I've felt like my art has been at a complete standstill when it comes to improvement. I mean, it's not bad, but it's definitely not where I want it to be. And there's so much still for me to learn. And so I thought to myself, mastery, what does it mean to be a master? 10,000 hours is a lot of hours, I must admit. And when you break it down, that's about 416 days nonstop. Um, and nobody's really got time for that. I certainly don't have time for that. So in typical YouTube fashion, I decided to make it to a challenge, a seven day challenge to be specific, because why not? So for the next seven days, I'm gonna be drawing every single day and implementing something new into my art in hopes of improving. So let's get into it. Today is day one. Day one, I'm deciding to work on features. Features to me have been something that I'm not bad at, but something that I know can be better. For me, my problem points when it comes to portraits are the mouth, sometimes the eyes, the nose I'm pretty fine at, but I think that's what I really want to focus on today um, is the mouth and the eyes. So I'm gonna do a quick little YouTube video search up to figure out what that looks like, how to do that, and then I'm gonna implement it into a portrait that I'm painting. So, yeah. As a digital artist, I find that taking techniques from traditional painting and getting advice from my fellow oil painter, acrylic painter, brothers and sisters, really helps me improve my technique. Um, and so I found this YouTube video. His name is The Paint Coach. He is just giving a detailed breakdown on the anatomy of the mouth, of how to paint a mouth, and a step-by-step -step guide. And so I'm gonna run with it. I'm, this is the video for me. I'm gonna find a couple references on Pinterest, and then we're just gonna do a little mouth drawing exercise. And then after that, we're probably gonna do some eyes, and then we're gonna paint a portrait. Okay, after doing this exercise, I can say that I've learned quite a few things when it comes to painting lips. Um, something very like particular that kind of stuck out to me was that like the corners of the mouth aren't like separate from the skin, but they kind of blend into the skin, like the way the mouth curves in. I don't know, I thought it was cool. So I have a little bit more tips and tricks in my arsenal of lips drawing. I'm gonna move on to eyes now because I think that'll be the next sort of step. So I realized I didn't film the intro for day two. Um, so day two is gonna be lighting and color. I realized there's so much with lighting and color that I'm not 100% that great at. I kind of have a basic understanding of lighting and color, but I feel like to really understand how color works in conjunction with lighting will help improve my portraits a lot and understanding how it works with your skin tones as well. So I'm gonna be watching a couple YouTube videos on that topic and doing a little lighting practice. And then, I don't know, just getting into it. So yeah, enjoy the time lapses. Okay, so I'm currently watching this particular video called Painting Skin Tones and How Light Affects Colors. It looks pretty good so far. So I'm excited to learn a couple things here, which I think will be very helpful to painting skin tones. So I'm gonna watch this video and then get back to you guys with a exercise that I come up with to see how I can improve on skin tones. If you can take my hand, I promise we'll find love on brushwork. This is something that I've always wanted to get better at as a digital artist and it's kind of hard to emulate like a painterly look as a digital artist and that's something that I really 
like. The look that I really like is like oil painting, acrylic painting, all those things really like is what drew me to art in the first place. Um, I look at like the masters and just like their brushwork is very flawless, very amazing. Some of my favorite digital artists right now currently is Alexis Franklin and Sam Spratt. They, their work is like beautiful and I'll put some on the screen, but this is the kind of like artists that I take inspiration from when it comes to brushwork. And a lot of their pieces look like paintings and that is something that I really wanna do. And so what I did today, I searched up some techniques on how to actually get that painterly look um, with my brushes. And so what I did is I created my own little oil brush that I kind of used to create this look. And I wanted to do a still life study because it allows me to like practice what I did yesterday with light and color and stuff, but also like incorporate brush strokes and different painterly techniques. And so I found this reference on Pinterest and I learned a little bit on how to use the mixer brush and I found that the mixer brush helps me create that painterly look because it acts as a paintbrush normally when you're using Photoshop and stuff like that you use like the brush tool which is great no brush tools like adds layers on top of the painting but with a mixer brush it's like a paintbrush where you like can like the paint mixes on the canvas and so I created this sort of oil brush I don't I kind of want to make a brush Set. Let me know if you guys be interested in the brushes that I use, but I created this oil brush and I went through and I started Doing this still life and I found that it is really nice using both the brush tool and the mixer brush to kind of get that desired painterly look I really like how it turned out. It looks like a painting and I'm very actually proud of it. And so yeah That was day. I don't know what day we're on. I think we're on day three. That was day three and I think I really like that. I think I'm gonna make some more brushes with the mixer brush now that I kind of understand how it works to kind of get like a sort of painting feel. I don't know. I think it'd be cool. And so yeah, that is day three. Tomorrow we're gonna be working on, what are we working on tomorrow? Proportions. Tomorrow's proportions. So tomorrow we're gonna be working on proportions and I'm excited for that one because I think that it will actually help my portraits a lot. This isn't like a f complete fix for becoming a better portrait painter, but seven days gives me some time each day to sort of work on it. Um, constantly improving, but this sort of is what I'm doing right now and I think I like it. Just one day at a time, you know what I mean? And so yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. It is day four and today we're gonna to be working on proportions. I think that proportions for me are some, something that I know can be better. I'm not that great at proportions and I find that because I'm a digital artist, it's nice because I can like use the move tool and like move things around. But I wanna get good at just like drawing a face, painting it and like having to adjust proportions like minorly. Sometimes I'm like halfway through a painting and I'm like, this looks nothing like the person, lasso tool move tool and I just like move everything around it looks like a completely different person by the end of it and I want to like get good at just like drawing because eventually I want to get into like live paintings and drawing from life which is different as a digital artist and I also think that being able to get proportions right the first time can help speed up the drawing process exponentially and so that's what I'm going to do today I have a couple videos queued up and an exercise hopefully I can try but yeah, let's get into it. I am currently watching this YouTube video on proportions and I'm realizing this challenge that I'm doing is reminding me of how I learned how to do art in the first place. A lot of my learning to draw and all these things stemmed from me literally just watching YouTube videos and then implementing what I learned or looking at like other people's art and then redrawing it which I didn't know at the time, it's called Master Studies. And I think it's really cool that doing this again, I haven't done this in a while, just like going back to the basics and learning the basics, which I really like. But yeah, a little quick pop in. I'm gonna continue watching these YouTube videos and then I think I have an idea for my exercise for today. Um, I do have like assignments due, and so I don't wanna like spend six hours like or five hours on a portrait so I'm going to be just 
doing a different exercise from the paint coach, which his videos are pretty baller, I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna try it and then we'll see how it goes. So yeah. Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked And by the way, just got in town And I won't let humanness cloud It's all in the sky, ruin my vibe and usually I don't do this often But since recruiting isn't an option so yeah i kind of forgot to record the intro for the remainder of the challenge but i did do it i did it um and so i kind of just wanted to like break it down break down what i did the past two couple days i was kind of going through my footage and i was like i didn't record the intro for any of this so that's what i'm doing now it's a couple months later and everything's changed we're in a new location we've got new hair things are different so for the remainder of the days i kind of just wanted to sort of fast track things um i've been doing a lot of studies which is great which is awesome but i kind of just wanted to focus on portraits for the next couple days and just drawing straight portraits and so i wanted to do a study of a male portrait and a female portrait and so that's what you're going to be seeing me doing here and so with these portraits i kind of wanted to incorporate what i learned during this time and i think they turned out pretty well i'm gonna be honest i really like them but for the first portrait i did a male person study so i started off by finding a reference on pinterest which i kind of liked and i started incorporating the things that i've learned i used a lot of my mixer brush that i made a couple days ago a couple days ago that i made a couple days ago and i kind of really liked how it turned out it helped me to kind of create a texture in the face kind of like looks like a painting you know move the paint around and all of that jazz which is great and yeah i kind of like this reference because the structure of the face was really i guess prominent and defined and i find it interesting that when you look at the difference between males and females in terms of face structure um females have like a more soft just more softer features um more of like a rounded sort of face um, while males have a little bit more structure to their face which i thought was cool and so yeah i tried to keep that in mind as i was painting this portrait and i wanted to go with this sort of yellow background because yellow is cool and i wrote these words which they really have no meaning to the painting whatsoever but i thought they were cool it sounded cool carpe diem is cool and so yeah i really liked how it turned out so for the second portrait i wanted to do a female portrait and actually with this one, I wanted to have make it have a little bit more meaning. So I actually based this one off of a Bible verse from a sticker that my friend gave me that had a Bible verse on it and it kind of just made me think of this image. And so I'll actually show you guys. I have this sticker. It's like, she confidently trusts in the Lord to take care of her. And it's on my Kindle because we know Catholic stickers on the Kindle. Um, but. Yeah, basically with this verse, I immediately thought of a woman who is kind of like receiving the love of the Lord and, you know, receiving that care from the Lord. And so I kind of thought of this image of a woman like, you know, being basked in like the warmth of the sun. And I immediately headed to Pinterest to sort of look for this image and I found the perfect, the perfect reference. Um, I'll put like it right here, like link it down below. Um, but. I really like this reference um, because it kind of encapsulated what I was envisioning with this, you know, peace and security that comes from knowing that the Lord's got you. That was cringy. Don't do that. Okay. This peace and serenity from knowing that the Lord has got you. And I particularly like this specific portrait that I did because it helped me to incorporate what I learned in my lighting practice a couple days ago, a couple days ago, and incorporate that into this particular portrait. So it kind of features this girl with like this bright light coming from the side of her face. And yeah, I really had fun doing this, like all the brush strokes and that. I used my mixer brush yet again, um, which I is now a staple in my drawing workflow. So yeah, that was cool. Uh, I went with a red background because red is a vibe. And I did like this cool like little circle thing behind her and her clothes are actually like, just like a pattern. It's not like clothes, but I thought it looked cool. It's like a shape silhouette anyways that was kind of that um i really liked how it turned out like 
like actually um, I think I put this one on my website I'll have to double check it might just be on my Instagram but also follow me on Instagram but <laughs> I think that's it I really like doing these two portraits I think that concludes the days that I forgot to record I learned a lot kind of during the seven day challenge which is kind of cool because over the past three years my style is kind of like evolved and transformed into different things but it's kind of hard for me to develop that style a lot because I feel like I'm very inconsistent um, which is not good but yeah like I'll draw for like a day and then like a month later I'll like draw again and stuff like that but the seven day challenge like kind of helped me to consistently work on consistently improve day by day I actually ended up not doing seven days because I was looking at my footage and I just didn't do seven days. I'm not good at these challenges thing, I'm gonna be honest. But, so we had six days, which is okay. I still learned a lot, but yeah. And so that concludes this video. Um, if you guys liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And comment down below what you guys wanna see from me. I'm still kinda new to this whole YouTube thing. Um, I'm trying to be more consistent. Guys, editing is hard. I'm gonna be honest, editing is hard and time consuming but we're, we're working on it we're working on it we're working on getting faster we're working on getting better but yeah comment down below what you guys want to see from me and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.